Hello everybody, Gleekatsinger here and welcome to the semi-finals of ADVL. Uh, we're going up against Phoenix here from the Toronto Typhlosions. Um, you know, I didn't play in the regular season, um, who is the 7th seed in there uh, currently, and the other semi-finals already been played, and Pineapple, who I played week 3, won that game as the 8th seed. Um, I think it would perfectly sum up how this league went um, in general if the final was 7th seed against 8th seed, that would be the pinnacle of comedy. Uh, so hopefully that's not going to happen, hopefully I can pull through and win this one. Um, it's a pretty tough matchup, he's got a really, really cool team. Uh, in terms of, I feel like he has played the format before, I don't know if that's true or not, but um, he, he's got one of those teams where it's like, I look at that team and I say anything could come and anything could do really well um, of that tool. He's got a load of mid-tiers and they all do really, really well. So <laughs> that's kind of tough. But um, hopefully I can pull through and win this one and get to the final. It'd be my first ever final in Draft League, so hopefully I can do that. Um, so let's get into his team what I think he's going to bring. Uh, starting off with Cathagrius. Cathagrius is just amazing in so many ways. It's really tough for me to deal with in this matchup because it has body press in Gen 8 now, so Gozlord is not a switch into Cathagrius at all. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see kind of an Iron Defense Will-O-Wisp body press set come out of this. The nice thing is though is that this is his only Machamp response at all and it's a very good one because Mummy can get rid of my guts which means that I would then not get the attack boost from Burn, and my attack would instead be halved, so quartered in the sense between turns. Um, so that's going to be tough to deal with. Um, but the fact that that's his only Machamp response means that he can't bring a very setup focused set because he has to use it to check Machamp, otherwise Machamp just goes so in against this team. So that's a nice thing for me at least, where I can, I can think, okay, oh well, um, it means that can't happen because uh, it would instead be more focused on checking Machamp quite well and probably will run something like Psychic because Cathagrius does get that. Um, so that's good, that's nice with that. I, I stop it being as threatening as it could be against my team. Um, Ordino is just a bonky wish passer, normal type. It, it's decent, but I feel like he doesn't bring it here because it allows Machamp in very, very easily. I feel like he has better things to bring, even from a defensive standpoint, than Ordino in this one, so I, could, I, I feel like I don't see that one coming. Um, Wigglytuff is good, though. It's a very good Guzzlord swap, because obviously it's a fairy type. It comes in on Guzzlord very nicely. It can do Calm Mind stuff. It's just another Wish Passer. Like, this team has a very nice kind of Wish Bulk core to it, which isn't brilliant against me, which is very good for me, because it's very, that can be very frustrating to play against. Um, Wigglytuff is just good at doing what it does. It's a bulky, normal fairy. Um... Unfortunately, because it's normal type, it isn't a resist for Machamp. If it was, it would be much better here, but um, as it is, Machamp just kind of blows through it, and a lot of stuff on my team kind of just blows through it. I could see it coming, though. Flapple is very, very scary, because it does get um, flying coverage for Gorgeist. Uh, otherwise, Gorgeist will win pretty well. It can Just the combination of Grass, Dragon, and then Jewel Wing Beat is very, very scary. Obviously, Hustle is its ability, so it can always just miss. Um, that's kind of the, that's how Flapple works. Um, it can be pretty threatening though, and uh, it's <laughs> it's very very scary for sure. Like a Dragon Dance set is very very scary. Um, Combuskin is actually probably the thing I'm most scared of. Just Sword Stance Combuskin absolutely rips me apart because um, it can go really really fast because of speed boost, and then it just gets to like close combat and Flare Blitz, and it just destroys my soul. Um, it's really, really strong, and it's a massive, massive threat, so I'm gonna have to, I have to be very, very scared of that. Um, Lapras is a bulky water that I feel like he'll bring to check floats all really effectively. Also, switches into stuff like Guzzlord, Diancy, if I don't have a rock move. It switches into all of that stuff really, really nicely, and does a good chunk of damage to not, as to not an Alma Champion, um, in, like, um, unlike Ordino. So that's kind of what I was thinking there. It works really solidly in that sense, where it can do really, really well, I would expect a Lapras Spring. Minetric is just a semi-fast electric type, which could be pretty good here. From his perspective, though, um, it is slower than Dojiro and Floats. Also, if he does bring it, I am, I am anticipating a Scarf Spring. If he brings Minetric, uh, Guzzlord does uh, check, check it very, very well in every way, and Gorgeist, if he is locked into an electric move, checks it very well, obviously, uh, most sets run overheat, so that's something to keep in mind there. Uh, Purple Pass is just a bulky steel type, um, I actually do anticipate it here as a Dojo response, because Dojo kind of does go in otherwise against this team, 
Um, I could definitely see that being left off though in favor of like Manetric or something that really frees up Dojo to be very very good here. He could also just not bring it because it allows Machamp in as well. If he really doesn't want to allow Machamp in and go for a more offensive route, which could be very effective, then he probably leaves it off. Uh, Murkrow is just dark flying, decently fast, can hit pretty hard. I have a good, really good response to it in Diancy though, which may dissuade him from bringing it. Uh, I, don't, I haven't been bringing Diancy that much recently though, so he may think it works really nicely. Um, it's like faster than Machamp, it can revenge in that sense. And it's obviously good against Gorgeist as well. So, and Kadabra as well, if he wants to bring the Scarf maybe, or something like that. Shuckle is just a bulky hazard setter, it's like kind of like a lead thing, can set webs, do all of that good stuff. Um, I actually don't have removal on this build, um, because I don't think Shuckle's that much of a threat. I don't think something like webs is going to massively stop me, because Dojo dodges them. And then Venomoth is a setup mod anyway, so that's it's not the end of the world. If webs go up here, I think I can still still work with that. Uh, but it would just obviously be quite tough. Torterra, just grass ground. It's his bulky grass, so he didn't really have a ground switching otherwise. Uh, I don't really anticipate it here though, because it doesn't fulfill that role. It basically doesn't do anything, because it never breaks Gorgeist, it just loses to all my offense as well apart uh, even floats and stuff so don't really anticipate i think torterra is the one thing where i'm like probably not uh, and then meloetta is just amazing i really am anticipating pirouette form to come to this one because it beats guzzlord um it can beat guzzlord anyway because it gets stuff like deagling but um i'm really anticipating relic i'm really anticipating a pirouette form set and that does a lot of work against me it's very very scary um so I've had two predictors six. I think Fagrigus and Meloetta are definites. I think Flap One and Buskin are both very, very good. Uh, and then I'm going to say Lapras Probopass as the six. If I had to predict a six, I could easily see Minetric being mixed in there. I could easily see Wiggly Tough being mixed in there. Or Murkrow as well. I don't really anticipate Shuck, although I could see that coming as well. Don't, and then I really probably don't anticipate Ordino and or Terra. This one. So let's talk about my team. What I'm bringing, and why I'm bringing it starting off with... Uh, Machamp here, and I'm actually bringing setup for the first time this season. I've got Bulk Up on there, which essentially, with the Guts, because obviously once I hit Machamp, well, not Machamp, once I hit Kafagagus once, I lose Guts. So I lose all my damage. So the idea of this set is I Bulk Up on Kafagagus coming in, and then I knock off into it. And it's a roll to kill if he's not Colbert. He probably will be Colbert though. Realistically, but if I just pop that, that's fine. I can do that, then I can swap out and deal with stuff that way, but in a, in a situation where it's not Kolba, um, that is brilliant. Uh, and then just close combat in general, once Kafagus is gone, is just uh, has absolutely no switchings. There are no switchings to it at all. Pretty much every time the champ comes in, it gets a kill. <laughs> Literally. Um, once Kafagus is gone, just by clicking close combat, it's insane. And then Bullet Punch is just nice because I'm slower than everything on the team, so... If I need to pick off Meloetta or Mainetric or Flapple or Combuskin, even even though Combuskin won't take much from it, I can do that with Bullet Punch there, and it does a solid chunk of damage to everything. Um, I don't need much speed here because there's a massive speed gap around where Machamp is. Combuskin can obviously speed time me at max speed, but then it will just click protect anyway. So I didn't see any reason for me to go max speed or anything, so I've just run enough speed, if I remember correctly. I originally was going to creep Lapras, but then stuff like Torterra and then Lapras itself could run a tiny bit of speed to try and creep the creep. So I crept the creep of the creep. So I'm three speed points above Lapras with no speed. Just to work with that. Um, then we've got Diancy here um, coming. I just needed something that was going to take a hit from Combuskin, pretty much. Otherwise, I have absolutely nothing for it. It's here to do that. It also takes on Lurker really, really well. Um, this is also going to be coming in on like Fagrigus and then Ordino and Wigglytuff to try and stall break there. I can Toxic into those mons, I can Tom Pass and try and get momentum into the champ. I can Moonblast which is just there for damage. It's a one shot on Flapple if it locks itself into Outrage. And then I've got Resto Chesto on there because I'm potentially going to get Toxic, potentially going to be taking quite a bit of damage from like uh, Kafagrigus and um, Ordino Wigglytuff and stuff if I have to do it with that. So being able to have one full heal guaranteed is nice there. Ordino can obviously knock off into that, and Kavagus can obviously knock off into that, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. I just won't click rest if that happens, pretty much, but hopefully I'll be able to click rest at Chesto in this matchup. Just basically he's giving me two dancies. Um, Gorgeist is 
the Flapple response. I have to run Cobra, otherwise Flapple would beat me, pretty much. Um, I considered will o Wisp, I really did. It is it does definitely does have its benefits, um, but I thought the other moves had more benefits. Pretty much, Leech Seed is obviously brilliant for just residual recovery and stuff. Like if you want to try and offensively go Combuskin, you can't just sit there forever and set up and click sub or whatever. Um, to get speed because he would be taking damage from the Leech Seed. Synthesis is a must for longevity because I switch in on stuff like Pro Class very nicely here as well. Poltergeist is a must because otherwise I don't do any damage to the Flapple. And then I needed Seed Bomb for stuff like Lapras to try and break through Lapras potentially and stuff like that. Like It's a tough... And then if stuff gets knocked off as well because I have Knock Off on this thing, Poltergeist is then useless. I have to have Seed Bomb in this situation. And also Poltergeist can't hit Meloetta because it's normal type. So I was just like... I have to be safe here, um, and I have to run those two moves, even though Willis was really solid. It, I also can't Wisp Combuskin, so it's like I can waste turns doing that, whereas Poltergeist is never a wasted click, pretty much. Uh, we've then got AV Guzzlord coming here, Max for death. Um, I've actually got mixed here, so I'm Sassy Nature, which means I am slower than Wigglytuff. Um, but I don't think Wigglytuff is the thing I'm most scared of or anything, so I didn't massively value that. Um, we've got Dog Pulse and Sludge Bomb, and then Knock Off and Drain Punch. Um, so essentially, this is Jewel doing well against Cathagrius and Meloetta, but not brilliantly, essentially. So Knock Off is over half into Meloetta, and then Dark Pulse is over half into Cathagrius, um, which is nice, because otherwise, if I only had one or the other, I lose two one of them pretty much and I didn't want to have to choose between that so I was like let's just run mixed. Sludge Bomb is then going to catch quickly tough on the switch if he does bring that it's like 30% and I have a chance to poison which is kind of nice and then Dream Punch is there for like Prova Pass and just kind of sitting in against stuff to try and get residual recovery against Lapras as well it's really nice because even if Lapras has a nice move it's not going to do that much damage so that's where we are with that and then Venomoth is here in the semi-finals having been pretty useless all season and i'm really banking on it here it has an incredible matchup the fact that i only, only have one five six speed on this set says everything about how good this thing is um at plus two i'm faster than anything you can throw at me including like a scarf minetric which i said i think is pretty likely to come um the spadef is also really nice to just take hits from loads of stuff on the team um slug and then sludge bomb plus bug buzz is at plus two, a one shot on everything barring Probe Pass um, with the Life Orb. If I get the Life Orb knocked off, I think I lose it on Cathagrigus. Um, I think it's a roll on Cathagrigus anyway, but I'll obviously be doing damage into it at some point. And I think I would. I obviously don't two shot Ordino either, but Ordino does like no damage to me. And if Ordino comes, it's what I'm setting up on, essentially. Um, I, I can set up on. Cathagrigus, that's kind of the aim, is the main thing I'm setting up on is Cathagrigus, or kind of Lapras, or even maybe Probe Pass if it comes in on me. Um, because once I get the Spideff up, he can't, he can't do anything, and I just get to roost in your face, and I recover, and then once I get to plus two, I kind of just win the game. So that's kind of what we're looking at there. In a certain situation, plus one is enough as well. If it's not Scarf Man Edge, he brings that, I can work with that as well. And then we've got Soul Stance Dojo to wrap it up here, and this is kind of going in tandem with the Machamp, in that one of them should eliminate Cathagrigus for the other to really go in. Because uh, Cathagrigus is just a great physical wall that takes hits from Dojo, pretty much, so I was like, let's run SD, SD, plus, the plus two knockoff is like 80% into Cathagrigus, I also then don't lose that much damage because of losing my ability, because Dojo's abilities don't do anything anyway. The speed is from Inetric, and faster than that. Stomping Tantrum kills that. Stomping Tantrum also kills Pro Pass at plus two. So if that's the switch that I get to click, Sword starts into Stomping Tantrum and that kills. And then Brave Bird's just a great click otherwise against a lot of the team. Like it is something that comes in like Combuskin and stuff and Flapple as well. Stuff like that. Scarf Flapple could be good here, to be fair. Uh, Venomoth also sets up on Flapple. <laughs> kind of. It depends. Probably not, to be fair. But there's, so there's the team, and hopefully things go well. Hopefully things go well and I can get into my first final ever. So I'll see you guys in the battle. Okay, so I was very wrong about what he brought. Um, he's brought a very interesting team. I can't believe he hasn't brought Cathagrigus first off. He has no switch in to Machamp at all. Machamp gets a kill every single time it comes in here, which is insane. Um, nothing lives anything from it, pretty much. Pineapple's also joined the match, which is quite cool. Um, going, going on. Uh, Sword Dance Dojo is also amazing here. Um, based on composition, I really do think it's Scarf Manetric or it's Scarf Murkrow. 
Um, oh no, never mind, pineapple's gone. Um, <laughs> oh no, pineapple got Porygon. <laughs> Oops. Um, so that's that. Leads on his end, I could see... A daughter. I could see a Torterra lead to try and set rocks. I could see that being a thing. Um, I could see Meloetta lead to try and do some shenanigans. I could see Murkrow. I could see basically anything leading, pretty much. I could see Magnetric leading to Volt Switch as well. Um, I'm actually kind of feeling a Gozlord knockoff turn one. Get rid of Leftovers on Wigglytuff. Wigglytuff potentially, although against Lapras and Torterra I don't really want to be there, is the thing, because I don't want to get toxic. Um, in other news, without Combuskin or Flapple, like, I can't believe the stuff the team has brought. Um, with only Murkrow to deal with, how is Diancie just genuinely against Murkrow? Oh, it doesn't have moves or anything, let's assume, like... Um, What's the move? Um, I just put acrobatics in there with no item and see how interesting. Yeah, really not much at all. I'm not worried about that. So I, I actually think a baton pass lead is really solid. So I'm going to do that. Just click baton pass turn one. Uh, he leaves me Netric, yeah. So Volt Switch is going to come off here. Definitely. It would seem. I think this is Scarf. I really think this is Scarf. And his Volt Switch is going to do like 20% and I get to slow baton pass here very freely. He does Volt Switch. It's going to do 38. That might actually be Specs, you know. 38. Yes, it's actually Specs. It is actually Specs Mainetric. Interesting. That means Sword Stance Dojo is absolutely ridiculous. That, the Sword Stance Dojo is so good. Um... Does Torterra just die <laughs> to a Machamp hit? No, it does not. It actually takes it fairly well. Wow. Of all the things you did not expect. I'm just going to go Dodrio. Although my Brave Bird doesn't kill, so he may call that. Or I just go, like, Hard Venom off now and try and do that. No, I don't think that's worth it either. I'm just going to go Gorgeist and... Play it safe, I think. Because I, I don't want to go into a champ and then take, like, way too much from a wood hammer. Yeah, I don't think that's very smart. I'm going to go Dojo. And I'm... I think I'm going to SD... Because Lapras is gonna Lap, Lapras Lapras is gonna take this fairly decently. Actually, I'm probably better off just brave birding. To be fair, yeah, I think I'm. Oh no, because Wigglytuff could come in. Wigglytuff can easily come in here. Never mind, Wigglytuff die. Wigglytuff probably dies to two anyway. So yeah, I'm just going to Brave Bird here. He does stay in, so I'm glad I did that. I may die here to a rock move. No, he'll just go for Toxic. Okay. That's fine. I'll just Brave Bird again. Um, he'll protect. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. He'll protect, so that's fine. Um, I think I'm okay with this trade. Yeah, he'll fail protect, so he really had nothing for this. So I'll take a little bit more recoil, and I'll live the toxic, yeah. And he'll go wiggly tough, okay. So he frisked my duty, heavy duty wigs. I didn't even know this had frisk, actually, that's kind of cool. Um, I'm just going to go Diane C, and I'm going to put on pass again. There we see protect on this as well because it's wish protect. I'm assuming. Um, 
Is Wrigley Tough faster or slower than Dancy? Because if I um, if I've messed that up, I'm gonna be annoyed. I have messed that up. Oh, wonderful, you idiot. Yeah, I'll just toxic then. Um, nothing wants to take it. Like nothing appreciates getting toxic here. Um, oh, I can't believe I messed that up. That's so annoying. Um. <laughs> Yeah, he'll go Meloetta, so getting a Toxic off on this is really nice. And here is probably where we get the Relic Song reveal, and we see Pyro F1. I'd imagine, but Guzzlord is my play either way. Because the thing that is nice, because it specs Manetric, so the thing that's nice to keep Dojo around for, is I'm pretty sure Stomping Tantrum kills Manetric. It doesn't quite, but it does a lot. So that's really nice. Uh, we probably see Relic Song here, I'd imagine. No, we just see Shadow Ball. Okay. We see Shadow Ball. Um, Meloetta. Oh, Shadow Ball for Gore, guys. Right, that makes sense. That does make sense. Um... Yeah, standard offensive, it would appear. We see D-Gleam, which won't do much at all. And Meloetta will die. Um, I should get an attack boost there, which is kind of cool. Um, so he'll go main, but I'm pretty sure I'd take anything from main. Very handily. Yeah, like, it literally says Thunderbolt is doing 12. Even, I mean, let's put Modest on there. It's literally doing 13. What does Minetric get? <laughs> like, why has he got Minetric here? I mean, maybe it can focus fast, but I don't think that kills. It can Ice Fang, but I don't think that will kill. Yeah. I see no reason to not just knock again. So we'll see Volt Switch, right? He's just trying to chip it down. Um, he takes a lot with whatever he wants to go into here. He probably just goes... Like, I don't know why he didn't go Wiggly Tough the first time. To be fair, Wiggly Tough was so free. Unless he was massively... Unless it's Spadef Wiggly Tough and, he's mass and he thought I was going to click like a uh, more offensive move. Uh, we get rid of Leftovers, which is nice. So lefties are gone. Um... Based on that knockoff damage, doing 18, it's mixed, it appears. It appears it's literally the standard set where it's got very little HP investment. So my Sludge Bomb isn't going to do much here. Um, so I see no reason to go for that. I'm just going to go... Um, I can actually try and set up Venom off here. Because if Magnetric is Specs, then Venom off needs to only go plus one. Yeah. See, I'm just going to go hard Venom off there. As we see, D Gleam. And now I'm just going to Quiver Dance. He may have Encore. If he shows it here, and that's a good bring. Um, yes, yeah, so we see Murkrow come in here. Um, which I assume dies to a plus one hit. So, unless it's Scarfed, it dies. Yeah, it, that might just be game. He'll go main, but main is slower. I think he's trying to bait. Um, he's trying to bait me thinking it's Scarf, but um, it actually isn't. Let's just check turn one wasn't a crit, just in case. It was not. Yeah, it's, it, this is definitely specs. Cool. Um, I think that might just be game. 
Yeah, I think this is just game. <laughs> wow, Venomoth. Absolutely dominating. I'm just going to play it safe. Oh, that is, that is offensive as hell. That is offensive as hell. I'll just sludge bomb into it and get 62% off, yeah. Cool, so Ven Venomoth just did nicely there. He should have gone Lapras the first time. He should have gone Lapras the first time. Uh, he tried to bait a Scarf on Minetric, but I knew from the calc turn 1 that it was Specs, so... Um, unless he thought I maybe had no speed, because I ran no speed last time I did this. Um, but I now just get to go into my champ. And um, my close combat will actually... It won't kill this because it's not um, burnt yet, but uh, now I'm burnt. If I can CC again, yeah. And then I'm just going to play this really safe, I think, because now that I'm minus two, la this Lapras I think is fast. I think this Lapras is fast. I'm pretty sure this Lapras is fast, so I'm just going to sack Dojo first. Yeah. Oh, he actually only went for Ice Beam, so maybe not. But uh, I think that was the safe way to do that, because now I don't die, basically. Yeah. Yeah, because I would have died to that. I would have died to that. Um, so let's just, let's just be safe on that. Um, so I take a really solid win there. Really solid win. Um, really solid win. Um, I played that really well, even though he brought a weird team, um, it was fine. And the thing is, he really should have gone Lapras earlier on Venomoth. He really should have. Um, definitely should have gone. He definitely should have. Um, he definitely should have gone Lapras the first time. Because he was still in that. Because my nature could still do work. Because um, I, I knew it was specs from turn one, so the, the bait didn't work. Um, but yeah, that was that, that was Venomoth at its best there. Venomoth did did a lot of work there. So. I'll see you guys next week for the final. Wow, that's insane. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support this season. So I'll see you guys next time.